Hi guys, it's me Lolita Path Over Length. Thank you for clicking on my video and long time no see. I know, I know. Um, this is gonna be a quick video. I'm telling the truth this time. I want you guys to see my hair. Um, this is a probably like five day old twist out. Um that I think still looks really good, especially up here, because you know. Hey, who sleep on the top of their head? But now I'm sure this back part probably don't look that good, but I'm gonna let you guys see it. I don't really worry about my back. I can't see it. When I get up in the morning and I take my little bundle off, you know, I, I pull, kind of fluff it, and then that's it up here. Cause then I put my bundle on and it's like this. So I just put my fingers in it, pull it and fluff it. But I did my hair last saturday today is monday november 28th and i did my hair last saturday not this past saturday but saturday prior i don't know the date off the top of my head but that's when i did it and um it was on not blow dry hair but it was on dry hair and as you guys see i just did some little flat twists going up and i wore the two strand twists I don't know, for about four days. And then I took the, the twist out and I've just been rocking it like this. And y'all, I am about to do something to my hair. Um, before I move on, I twisted it with a little bit of this. I got this off of Amazon. Um, I love this. I use it on my clients, anything that I try new, I test it on myself first. And once it gets my stamp of approval, then I use it on my my clients as well. So I do use this on my clients, but this is what I put, you know, to kind of clean my parts and then just twist it up. And then for my two strand twist, you guys know, I just, I use my, my mousse. That's what I use. So, but I want to just let you guys know that, and I want you guys to see my hair and let you guys know that this is the last time you will see my hair like this, okay? So I'm not gonna tell you guys exactly what I'm doing, but I'm leaving the natural hair realm. It's like bye-bye natural hair for me. Um, I have been natural for 11 years at this point, guys, and I have grown it, I have dyed it, I have cut it off, I silk pressed a little bit, I really think in my 11 years of being natural, I have silk pressed it, I want to say three to four times. So out, not a lot of times. Um, I personally don't even really like it straight. Um, I like to be different, but anyway. So um, I'll, I'm gonna go back through my Instagram and find some older pictures and insert some pictures to show you guys that I have done pretty much everything under the sun that I can think of with my natural hair. Um, you guys know, I mean, it's really not that much to do. Flat twist, twist outs, wash and goes, diet, silk press. What I have never done, I've never done a rod set and I actually bought rods and I actually have them right here. I've never used these, never, ever, ever have I used these. And I bought these with the understanding that I was going to do a rod set on my hair one day. I've never done a rod set. Um, I've never done a rod set, never done a flexi rod. So there is something I've never done, but I'm not gonna miss it with going to my next little journey. So um, I primarily just wanted you guys to see my hair to see it like this for the last time, as well as to let you guys know that I am leaving this natural hair world behind. It's been good to me, I loved it, but it's time for me to move on to my next chapter. So you guys just look at the pictures that I'm gonna insert and other than that look out for my next video which will I be I will be revealing the new me. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um everyone who has subscribed I thank you so much. Um, thank you so much and I love you guys and 
Oh, I hope you guys have a happy Thanksgiving. I had a nice peaceful one and I will see you guys before Christmas, I promise, okay? So thanks for watching guys. Stay tuned for pictures. Uh, hit the like button for me and subscribe so you will know what I'm doing next, okay? Thanks guys, bye. All right guys, so here I'm gonna try to do a little voiceover this was my big chop. This was December 2010. This was my first little TWA. This was about three to four months later. This is my very first hairstyle I was able to do. I thought it was so cute. I loved it. And this was probably a year later. And this is just a collage of all the... It's a puff, nothing special, but I was new, natural, and taking pictures galore. My first silk press. This was in, like, August of 2012. First silk press after being, um, after my big chop. And a braid out. I love this braid out. This was probably, like, in 2013. Um, same here, again, 2013. This was a braid out. I loved it so much my mohawk oh my god i got so many compliments on this mohawk i loved it as well and this is just a messy um i think it was a twist out it's just messy old old phone so don't pay no attention to the camera um small small two strand twist took me two days to put those in okay and then this is me with a, just a colored top this is just a flat twist out but i thought it was cute Again, as you guys see, I used to love my blonde on top. I, I, that was a, a favorite of mine. But that is a old flat twist out. This is blonde damaged hair. It looks pretty, but those curls are damaged, okay? Again, my little blonde on top. This was a wash and go. This was uh, with Kinky Curly, Not Today, and the Kinky Curly Curling Custard. This is my wash and go. This is when I discovered Curly Magic along with Obia Naturals Curly Handsome Custard. That was in 2017. This one, that's a wash and go. That was with Eco Styler, and I had cut my hair off. <laughs> this right here was 2019. I did not like that color, but I got so many compliments on it. And then this right here was my last silk press. This right here, I think, was like in 2019 as well. Bye, guys.